So that's the left side of this slide. What we completely missed, completely missed in 1995 when we published a paper was that MSCs make gigantic quantities of biomolecules into the growth medium, tons of them, huge amounts. And, and some of these are immunosuppressive. And, and therefore, if Neil Reardon, if I take a sample of his marrow, isolate his MSCs, expand them in my lab, okay, inject them into my vein, of course I'll, I'll tingle with the thrill of having his cells, but my immune system will not see them because of this curtain of molecules that they put up. So you can use allotransplantation, and here's the mechanism that puts up this curtain. So basically, um, the MSCs make molecules which drive down the local concentration of interferon gamma and uh, TNF alpha, and in a prostaglandin-mediated mechanism, there's a local rise in IL-10, and there's no T cell that can possibly walk through that curtain. The T cells are shut down uh, as they come into that pathway. And this allows Osiris to have a business of uh, using allogeneic MSCs. This is the charming and uh, young CEO, Randy Mills, and his, this is his business plan. He takes a huge aspirin from somebody, usually a male, between the ages of uh, 20 and 30 years of age. He, in the technology that was generously transferred by Case Western Reserve University, he uses our patented uh, process for isolating the MSCs and he expands them in culture using a selected batch of fetal calf syrup and he gets five to 10,000 doses. And, and here's his current, the current clinical trial uh, for MSCs. The worldwide rights were purchased by uh, Genzyme. Genzyme was purchased by Sanofi Aventis and uh, last year Sanofi Aventis signed over all of the worldwide rights back to Osiris, so they own all of these worldwide rights. They have clinical trials going on in all of these uh, uh, different countries, not in Panama, I can say. Um, and, and the next uh, slide is a joke, uh, but it's not Photoshop. When I was in Cape Town, South Africa, I took a picture of this boat in the harbor, okay, probably came through the Panama Canal, and, and it's clear they're shipping these MSCs all over the world in container. And, and, and actually, this was in the Wall Street Journal the next year. This same ship was clearly delivering these packages in a very crude way because this ship ran aground in the Indian Ocean. And now that I show these slides, because all my friends send me these slides, this is in New York Harbor. This is a cruise ship, and one of my buddies sent me this slide and said, well, Arnold, you can clearly get MSC treatments when you're 10 miles out on the cruise ship so that that's being advertised. And then this is in New Jersey. This is a farmhouse. So clearly there's an underground movement for MSC therapy all over the place. Okay, okay. so the, and this is the best. There, there's a, a, my best friend's children opened up a, a, a fabulous coffee shop, group of coffee shops in New York City, fabulous coffee. And they just opened up a store in Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia. And this, while they're renovating the store, they clearly were advertising MSCs as well as their coffee. So the company name was Joe. And you can see that MSCs even made it to Philadelphia. So that, that's the end of jokes. So uh, if you have leukemia or lymphoma, you get massive radiation and chemotherapy, you kill all those hemopoietic stem cells that you have in your body, and you will die unless you get a bone marrow transplant. You get a bone marrow transplant from a, a, an unrelated donor, and, and in 80% of the cases, you get what's called graft-versus-host disease. The bone marrow transplant and uh, hemopoietic stem cell in grafts, it sets up an immune system. That donor immune system attacks the host graft versus host disease. You get skin bleeds, 
your GI tract drops out of your body, you have liver shut down, you, if it's not appropriately treated, you, you die. The first line of treatment is to give massive amounts of steroids to calm the immune system. If you're steroid resistant, you die. So steroid resistant, graft versus host disease, and I'm not gonna go through the adult trial, but this is compassionate use with, this blew me away, this data blew me away. The compassionate use for children who were gonna die within a week of graft versus host disease, no therapy uh, to cure them was currently effective. They were gonna die. They were given not one shot of uh, MSCs, not two, but somewhere, some of them got 20 separate infusions of MSCs. Most of the kids walked away with the graft versus host disease completely cured. The first thing that was cured in these kids was the GI graft versus host disease. The MSCs go to sites of inflammation or injury. They do their thing. One of their things is to calm down the immune system. And in this case, shut it off. So, uh, fabulous results. This is, just so you know that uh, I'm not uh, advertising you know, Cirrus's products. This is uh, from, uh, this didn't come out well, but uh, Katerina LeBlanc, 10 years ago, came to my lab. We taught her how to do MSC. She went back to Sweden, and she did her own graft versus host disease uh, study and published it in Lancet, the same data. Mismatched, multiple infusions, and fabulous recoveries uh, a a at the end. So because of this GI graft versus host disease that uh, Osiris saw, um, they started a clinical trial on Crohn's disease, which is a form of inflammatory bowel disease. And this is their data from, the clinical, from their phase two clinical trial. That there's no drug on the market, Remicade, uh, 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 any of the drugs that can give you uh, uh, at dose-dependent improvement in the clinical score that keeps going up at day 28, 150 points on that clinical scale. There's no drug on the market that can give you that kind of improvement. MSCs go to the inflamed bowel, they stop the inflammation, and they let the bowel regenerate itself. This is a, a detailed slide. There's a review article on the bottom for this immunomodulation. Every member of the immune system can be separately affected by molecules made by the uh, MSCs. 